you never know what you're going to learn about the natural world. And right now, I'm on a tiny island off the coast of Belize, and I have so many questions. Seagrass beds are an important part of every aquatic ecosystem, but what do the sea stars do? Slow-moving or mostly stationary, the red-cushioned sea star is an omnivore and feeds on sediment, invertebrates, and epiphytic algae. The presence of sea stars is often an indicator of healthy marine systems. If a sea star loses an arm, it can grow another one back. But can that arm turn into another sea star? As recent scientific study is showing, the sea star is not a body with arms, but a set of connected bodies, sort of. And each arm has everything to create a complete organism. Do different colored sea stars indicate different species of sea star? The juveniles are green so that they are less conspicuous in the seagrass, but the adults vary in color, just like humans do. Sea anemone are carnivorous and would feed on these juvenile blue-striped grunts if they could snatch them. Once the anemone roots itself, does it ever move again? The surprising answer to me is yes. Anemone can change location by dislodging their foot and walking along the bottom or swimming by undulating their body. Black sea urchins are algae eaters, but their long, sharp spines are toxic to humans. I can remember getting stuck by one when I was a kid. Does anything eat a black spiny sea urchin? Can anything eat a black spiny sea urchin? The triggerfish can. And while I'm on the topic of fish, let's fish the barrier reef with Dave and Laddie, Jermaine and Zweddy. The Belize Barrier Reef is the second largest in the world and is home to over 500 different fish species. He has a pen pile now, Barracuda. Using live sardines as bait, our guides, Jermaine and Zweddy, helped us catch just a few of those species. So there I was, at the edge of the world, where the sea and the sky share their colors, thinking about seagrass. And inside the barrier reef, at the edge of a seagrass bed, I came across this curious and territorial little damselfish, defending its vintage conch shell home.
The Belize Barrier Reef was declared a World Heritage Site, and it runs the entire length of the country, almost 200 miles. There are some 450 islands in the Belize archipelago. About one-third of Belize's citizens live along the coastline and make their living within marine ecosystems found inside and outside the Barrier Reef. For Belize, a healthy reef makes for a healthy economy. This is our fourth visit to this barrier reef, and each time we come here, I see something I've seen before, but in a new and unexpected way. And the reef is different every time. Our reef guide, Raphael, showed us a live conch, and that got me thinking about conch and seagrass and the future of life along the barrier reef. Conch is a staple food in the Caribbean, and conch thrive in the seagrass meadows where, like the sea star, they keep the algae growth under control. Many of the larger fish species that inhabit the barrier reef get their start in the shallow seagrass meadows and on the patch reefs around the islands inside the reef. The connectedness of all of this is basic marine science. So why do we have such a hard time, you know, making the connections to things beyond that? Or understanding how we can be a better part of it? Islands that humans inhabit or visit, like Thatch Key, are held together by the prop roots of mangroves, the randomness of marooned coconut palms, and the resilience of tropical hardwoods, and by the unique experiences people have in places like this. I'll be back to this island again, but I know that change is inevitable. Dewey, the island dog, is gone, but he left his legacy to Pico and Marley. I have happy memories of my time here, and the images I return with keep my memories fresh and vibrant. In 2017, I saw the reef this way. In 2018, this is how I saw it. This is my memory of the reef in 2022. And I will likely remember 2024 with this image. As I said, change is inevitable, but how will I remember the reef next time? That's a good question, isn't it? And right now, on a tiny island off the top of the reef. Do sea stars play a role in the aquatic ecosystem, or are they just pretty? <laughs>